Okay, uh, versus Underbites. Winner's bracket round three. Uh, both of these bots have won their earlier matches. One. Fight. Robots fight. And Smee has, uh, has managed to cross the box and really high center underbite. And really, I mean, it is difficult to come up with a, uh, with a strategy when your box is about three inches long because uh, you are stuck between a Smee and a Burt. <laughs> And you are really seeing the driving skill of uh, Smee Captain Joe Fabiani here. Oh! Really, he, he loves to corral his opponent into the corner and really not give them uh, many, many options. We also see how incredibly effective those, those fingerlings are. Yeah, those fingerling forks. I think that that's, uh, that's what all the kids are saying now, right? Right, Chris? That's, that is what they are saying. Now, one of the challenges with Underbite is that it needs to get under Smee so that it can pop Smee up into the air. But really, the only time it's able to do that is if you can get around to the back of Smee, which is very hard to do, because Joe Fabiani is a pretty good driver. Yeah, and, and Smee just... It's really hard to kind of ID exactly where that low center of gravity is. It's, yeah. It's somewhere around the E. Ooh. That's a good pin. That's a good pin from Smee. And Underbite is just spinning there helplessly. Yeah. Did me wedge Underbite underneath the rail? Looked like it, yeah. All right, there's that one save for Underbite. They don't have any other saves left with 60, 70 seconds left in this match. And Smee's Another done it again. Corral. Oh, but Underbite climbs over. Oh! oh! Wow. Oh, Smee was, wow! Smee was paused for just a moment, and Underbite took advantage. 45 seconds left. And it looks like Underbite might be wedged again under that side rail. Oh, and Joe Fabiani is going to let Underbite die. Bert, you've already saved Underbite! Don't do it, Bert! 30 seconds left. Aw, you hurt Bert's feelings. He's gonna do it what? anyway! Oh my god, Oh, Bert. he's gone rogue! Wow. Bert's gone rogue! Bert just gave two saves to Underbite. Interesting. 10 we seconds got... left. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, that's the match. Wow. Turn off your weapons, drive to the door. Underbite, saved by, uh, by Bert twice. Hmm, I wonder what the judges will say about that. Might be a small penalty associated with that. Well, I mean, it's not Underbite's fault. It's Bert's fault. Bert! Well, it's again, chaotic again, evil. You can't blame everything on Bert, okay? <laughs> All right, uh, Jack, your thoughts on this fight, Smee versus Underbite. Yeah, so realistically, I don't see any way you could give it to anything but Smee there because both of the bots had some issues at some points, but mostly it was Smee in control. Even with one side of the drive down, they were able to wedge Underbite under the wall twice and they had to be saved by Brett twice, or Bert, whichever one it is. And I feel like that does count against them, because if they didn't get that second unregulated save, they would have been counted out anyway. So I have to give it to Smee. All right, we've got one vote for Smee. Don, your thoughts on this fight? Mm. Uh-oh, he's thinking that about it. Thinking. Thinking. Hmm. Underbite versus Smee. Do you want us to come back to you? Do you want to be the tiebreaker? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, oh. I'll be the... <laughs> and compounding interest there. Andrew, what do you think? Smee versus Underbite. I'm sorry, Don. You are going to be the tiebreaker on this one. Um, 
we're not gonna play with rules being what they could be or should be. We're gonna go with how the fight went, I think, which in this case, Underbite was freed and we're gonna go with it. So with me losing half a drivetrain, that even though it didn't limit their mobility as much, this is a hard one to judge. I'm gonna go underbite on this one because we didn't do any damage other than getting stuck, oh. which was undone by the arena or by the brick. Oh, Don Dorfler! Oh, no pressure! No <laughs> pressure! No pressure! No pressure! Uh, yeah, you're gonna have to be uh, the tiebreaker here. I think I hear the internet queuing yeah. up at his front door right now. Yeah, yeah, they're ready to uh, leave comments on the uh, huge Facebook page. Okay, Don, who won this fight? <laughs> So, right, I did this. T uh, yeah, I think uh, having Smee down a drive definitely hurt him and really got Underbite to capitalize a lot more. And based on that, I've been going Underbite. Wow. Wow. Oh. Split judge's decision for Underbite. Which advances? Wow. Luke, would you have agreed with them? No, I think that Smee had better, uh, you know, aggression and control. They pinned uh, Underbite multiple times and uh, really cut off uh, Underbite's, uh, you know, uh, you know, the, the size of their box. Yeah. I, but I, I'm not a judge. Yeah. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. All right. 12-pound action. On over to the big box. Raptor X22 versus Bone Crusher. This is loser's bracket round Eight, three. Seven, six, five. Should be a fun four, configuration here. Three, two, one. Fight, robots, fight. Oof. Here it spin oh! up. Oh! With an uppercut, that bar is bent. Wow. Oh my goodness. Raptor X22 is looking me. 